Hey guys, the next review I want to do is the Transformers Prime Robots in Disguise Deluxe Class RC. Probably the best motorcycle transformer I've ever seen. It's not perfect, but it's pretty darn good. Uh, I do recommend getting it, but like I said, it does have a few flaws. So let's go ahead and get into it. She stands, same height as everyone else, about five and a quarter inches tall. She comes with an accessory. This is just a big, like, axe, sword type thing, or a gun. It's got the arm peg there, so she can hold it like a gun in her hand. It does fit like that. Or you can snap it into her forearm there. Or you can have her hold it back here. There are some options in robot mode for basically doing whatever you want to do. It does have the silver paint on the black molded plastic. Pretty hollow on the bottom. But overall it's okay. It's kind of really big though for her. The figure itself, good paint application. Uh, the only thing I really wish they did differently was on the face. So you can see, focus, come on is she's supposed to have kind of a peachish color for the side things in the center like the uh, horn piece but it's all silver it's not bad it looks good still it's just not perfect the sculpt is great it does have the red center thing and the eyes are painted and the paint app is really nice overall and there is light piping for the eyes this is clear plastic so those will light up in the light so it's overall really nice it's just not perfect she does have the black and silver and gunmetal paint app throughout Overall, very good looking figure. These figures as a whole, the Prime figures, are very, very nice. Uh, her biggest problem is her backpack. It's way huge compared to what it is in the show. These things especially, the wheel, I don't even know if it's back there in the show at all. I don't think I remember seeing it, but it's really obviously there right now. and You can't really tuck it any better than that, so it's kind of a problem. It's not bad from the front, really, because she looks great from the front. Her body itself is just about perfect. It's just this backpack that's pretty big. What are you going to do, I guess? Sometimes you can't avoid it. Head articulation. She has pretty good range of motion forward and back. Not the most, but it's not bad. And, of course, side to side. Just a ball joint. Uh, the shoulders. Sculpt is great. Old school ball joint. Pretty good range of motion. Not the most, but definitely effective. Ball jointed elbow, so pretty good range of motion there, and a ball jointed wrist, so full swivel, and you can go up and down however you want. So not too bad there. Uh, the torso is really done well. The sculpt is great, and the paint app's great. No waist twist though, unfortunately. For the hips, ball jointed hips, just like all the other ones, and a thigh swivel built in. Very nicely done. Very clean looking really no complaints. It's nice though too because she's made out of this flat black in some spots like her biceps and her thighs. It's kind of a flat, like almost chalky, not chalky, but it's not glossy like the rest and like all the other figures. So it's very nicely done. I like that a lot. Her shins are really nicely done as well. They have nice sculpt, good paint app, pretty good screen accuracy, her feet as well. Just no articulation from the knee down. That's kind of a problem. It's, I mean, it's not a problem. She stands wonderfully. Just you're going to have to have her feet kind of, if you wanted to do something like that, her feet aren't going to be flat. They're going to be sticking up a little bit, but not a big deal because they're really nice and big. So she's not going to have any trouble standing. Probably from the profile, they're too big, but from the front, they look really good. My biggest complaint though, out of all of it, not counting the backpack, is the kickstand for the motorcycle it is just right there on her shin, her boots. So you can't really hide that too much. It's not so bad. I just don't really like it. As far as knee articulation goes, single knee joint, but full 90 degrees, no problem there. Overall, it's a really good figure in robot mode. It's not perfect though, the big backpack, no ankle articulation, and the kickstand bothers me a little bit. Sculpt and paint app's great, so I'm going to give this one a seven and a half, probably for robot mode. Let me get her transformed, and we'll talk about the vehicle mode. Alrighty, so I have RC transformed into vehicle mode. It's actually pretty nice. It's one of the better motorcycles. I know the movie motorcycles turned out pretty good. Not too much to complain about with them. This one, the, the really the biggest complaint for me is how thick it is and how it looks unfinished right here at the top. From the side, it looks pretty good. Of course, it rolls nicely. It's just two wheels. They touch, no problem. The front wheel does rotate. It doesn't tie into the steering but it does have the rotation there. And it does have a kickstand. I didn't think the kickstand was going to be effective, but it is. And it tucks in right there. So that's pretty nice. The rotors are painted on the brakes. Decent paint job overall. 
this should probably be painted since it looks like it's supposed to be a mirror instead of part of the visor or the windshield. Otherwise it looks pretty good I have to say. I would definitely take note of how thick it is though. And the weapon RC comes with it does spin like this. This is how I had it on the robot mode. Sorry if you didn't see that. This is how I had it for robot mode. This rotates if you want. And if you want to put it on the front wheel, you really should rotate it so that the blade doesn't touch the wheel. I don't know why anybody would really want to display the figure with that on there. It looks pretty goofy to me, but maybe that's your thing and you like it, so go for it. If not, you really have no place to store it, unfortunately, since RC is just a bike. So I would just leave that off, put it somewhere else on the shelf. Maybe turn the wheel a little bit, put the kickstand down, and if you're displaying in vehicle mode, do that. And there you go, it's a very nice figure overall. It measures four and a quarter inches, so it's a little big compared to the other vehicles, but that's how it is with a motorcycle, you can't really get around that. Uh, one thing I would mention is that the front wheel easily comes out, it doesn't really snap into place. So it's kind of a problem. It's not terrible, but it is there. I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10. It looks really good from the side. It does have a few flaws, though, and a little bit of a chunky-looking top. So there's RC in vehicle mode. I hope that review was informative, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the rest of the reviews. And in the meantime, keep collecting.